Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Power Rangers Ultimate Visual History. This is going to be more of a kind of overview review, that seems kind of redundant, but just kind of going over, you know, what's in it, what it's like, do I recommend it, just to kind of give those people that are on the fence an idea, uh, you know, whether they should get it now or for Christmas or both, just buy two, no, but that's what this review is going to be. Um, in about a week, maybe two-ish, depending on how long it takes, I'm going to do a more in-depth review after I've actually got a chance to read the whole thing, but I kind of wanted to get a recommendation out there and, you know, I was kind of excited to do a video for it, so yeah, there's going to be two reviews, I'll link them to each other. Uh, before we get started, I want to give just a warning. Um, I was going to say that mine's in pretty good condition. I know people have been um, having problems with some of theirs being shipped kind of terribly. Mine was in a box with no protection, but luckily, like, outside of a few little, like, small dents, um, like, there's, like, a little small, you can't even see it there, but, like, pretty good on that. But there's like a little, unless this is just supposed to stay in there, which seems weird, a free poster in the back, which is of this art, which appears like three times in the book. Um, you, you know, it's kind of in here by a sticky thing. Mine like ripped out, so it's not that huge of a deal, but like I wasn't even trying to get it out. I was just trying to see like, okay, is this like, you know, able to rip out? And then I, you know, ripped that, which is kind of annoying because it's a nice book and I wanted to keep it pristine and like an OCD kind of bothers me. But yeah, so just be careful of that. I just wanted to warn of that. But yeah, other than that, very nice book. As you can see, it's a pretty thick book. It's almost like a textbook. Really the only kind of textbook that I approve of, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not a huge textbook person. This is the only education you need, Power Rangers. But yeah, very nice. Um, I dig the style of it. I feel like maybe, it does look very textbooky and professional, but I was gonna, gonna say that I kind of wish it was a little bit more exciting on the outside. But I do really like, like the lightning bolt here is actually like hollow and underneath is this art. They really got their money's worth on this art. But I couldn't really tell that when we first saw it. Um, but yeah. So, super cool, just look at me reviewing the looks of the book. That kind of rhymed for some reason. But yeah, this is basically, as it says, an ultimate visual history. If you've ever picked up any of those, like, nerd books, I call them, of I have, like, tons of them. Star Wars, um, you know, Spider-Man, all that type of stuff, you know. You got the intro, there's a forward by Amy Jo Johnson, which I think I just skipped. There it is. Shkabeef. Um, but yeah, it basically goes over... A history like early on just kind of the history of the development. There's I am Saban right there um, And then it goes by the season, you know, you get like season one season two You get really cool little like sketches some of them like these are kind of more like what it looked like It's a little different obviously, but then some of them are more concept and stuff like that There's all kinds of neat little inserts in here um, Some of them are kind of interactive like that right there You can see is the a rough of the command center and stuff like that There's like a, a combination of info of like, you know, obviously like the seasons, like the stories, uh, behind the scenes stuff. There's like a call sheet here, all kinds of really neat stuff throughout the seasons. I'm trying to kind of get to all the little, or at least a good amount of the in suit, in suits, inserts. I saw the suits and I was like, suit confirmed. Um, like right here, you can see there's a, a page about Jew too. Juno, that's right. Like there's Ernie and all his peeps. This is like, th this reminds me of that scene in Parks and Rec. I'm a party scientist, and this is my laboratory. I'm putting that on Twitter after this. I'm so smart, guys. You just you should follow me on Twitter. I'm so witty. Here's a little like fold out of a bunch of the monsters and stuff. I really like all the I, I want to call them interactive bits, but like all the stuff like that. Like here is a sketch design for um, dude. I'm such a, a fan. I don't remember the dude's name from the movie, but the exclusive villain from that movie. Also, the movie suits are really cool. I really like them. There's stuff on the movie as I just showed you. Um, I like how I'm just flipping through the book. Here's a little kind of action card for the Megazord fight. Which is really cool of like the concept sketches, which is neat. Again, one of those little um, interactive bits. I'm seeing if there's any. There might be a couple inserts I miss. Again, when I do the more in-depth review, I'll, I'll specifically call out a lot of the um, the little inserts and stuff like that. There's Zio, stronger than before, you know. Common Rider Geo's on the next page. No, I'm just kidding. Turbo. You got stuff like that. Where's there? There's some really cool concept sketches from the movie. I might have already passed it, but there is a cool bit. Hold on, I think I passed it. There was, uh, they, someone put it up on Twitter the other day, uh, sketches of like the scuba suits that they almost use. I think, was that the same thing? No, this, no, these are, these are the piranatrons. These are not from the book about the scuba suits. But that's what it reminded me of though, when I was going through here. Also, the turbo suits are super underrated. Like, they're not in my top five, but they're really nice suits. Like, look at them there. All kinds of like, like, wait, there's a really good shot of the in space suits. Uh, there's like really like beautiful suit shots, which, there was like a good, really good in space one I missed. So there's a Psycho, there's a Lost Galaxy one. There's a similar one. Oh, here's the blue, some blueprints for like Terra Venture and stuff, I believe. Like, um, or just like the sets and stuff. And just this whole bit here reminds me of 
uh, like when they were showing off the Promethea in the comics, just because, you know, it was like the prototype. So I was instantly thinking, of, oh, here it is. There's some really cool shots like this. Like, look how good those look. I always loved the Lost Galaxy helmets. Let me find the one for In Space for you guys. This is because that, I saw that. Oh, I love that. Because In Space is one of my favorites. Look how good that is. It's, it's really, really cool. Like, really awesome stuff. Um, you got some stuff about Kendrick's Roan. That's that was a weird one. I don't know why I call them like that together. Time Force. Kind of just doing a rough flip of the book. You got Wild Force here. Again, I might be missing some of the inserts. Here's some bits about some of the merchandise. Look at that false representation. False advertising. I'm just thinking about that part at the end of Zombieland. Ninja Storm. Um, yeah, it goes in order, obviously. So if you know the seasons, you know, that's how I count years. Ooh, here's a little a uh, little bit on Hyperforce, which is super neat. And like right here, you saw Hyperforce is right there. Um, they kind of have these inserts of almost like stuff. They're like, oh man, we didn't do a page on this. Let's put a little booklet in there. Like you got some stuff about Super Legends and stuff like that. Um, it's extending way out past the camera. But like all kinds of extra universe stuff. Hyperforce is in there. Legacy Wars is in there. I kind of wish Hyperforce would have gotten their own spread. But I'm at least glad they made it, you know. Because uh, I'm, I'm love me some Hyperforce. Um, here we got, there's Phineas. There's our boy Phineas. Mystic Force, super underrated. All right, Jungle Fury, another favorite of mine. Um, let me see, there was a p bit on, um, oh, they got the Spirit Rangers in there. Nice. I mean, I knew it was in there, but some really cool sketches. Just here's some Strike Rider, Cruise. I wish I would have, I think I accidentally, not accidentally, but like I just kind of whole skipped over Overdrive and I want to do a lasers joke about when he uses his his bike. Uh, I really like the Boke Andrew suit, so there's some really cool shots in there of that. I wonder how many people are just going to pause to read the stuff. I remember, I think, is this the same sketches? No, it's a little bit different. It reminds me of the sketches from like the, the Sentai visual histories of like the, um, the Robos and stuff. Um, nice little bit on kind of Once a ranger -y stuff there. You got Thrax there with the villains. Um, really cool, cool stuff there. The Once a ranger bit's down here. Um, but yeah, so basically if you are familiar with these types of books, this is, in my opinion, one of my favorite books that I've seen of this type of thing. I mean, not just because it's PR and I had always dreamed of something like this. Here you got like a little bit for samurai, fashion samurai. Um, but just that it's got so much detail of both like behind the scenes and regular stuff. Um, some sketches of the Zords and stuff like that. Um, but the fact that like it has these little neat inserts, which I think make it cool. Not only do they just kind of make the book a little bit more exciting. Here's everyone's favorite legendary battle. Um, Team Green Stripe for life. Um, but, you know, what was I going with that? Oh, but like, they're like interesting little tidbits too that I like that they include. I might have skipped over it. Also love the Ghost Ager suit, so that's a really cool shot for me. Um, but there's a little comic insert. Again, I, if I skipped over it, we'll go back to it. But... Oh, here it is. A comic insert. Um, you get like little samples of like the old comics and the new comics, including Go Go and the, uh, the new ones. And they have like little explainers on that. Again, I think that's neat. I kind of wish that I would have liked to have like a couple pages near the end, like just to spread like this for the comics and Shattered Grid and then another one for Hyperforce. That's just kind of me being a little selfish with that. But I think that the comics in particular, like, don't get me wrong, I love Hyperforce, but given the Chattered Grid for me has been, like, one of the highlights of the franchise in the last couple years, I think it would have been cool. Some really neat stuff for Dino Charge here. Stuff about, like, the cafe and stuff like that. Just the word stuff. Ninja Steel concepts. There's a little um, booklet of all of his faces here. You can see like that. That's kind of neat. It would have been cool if did they have it. Did I not see it? if they just put the actual face of the Tokyo suit in there? I almost thought for a second that was the Tokyo face in there. That would be really funny actually if they would have had a shot from the old one. Um, some concepts for Sarah's hoverboard. We, obviously, we go through Ninja Steel, and then you got like stuff about the team up, which I didn't mean to go by. Um, and then here we've got the movie, which is really nice. They have a nice section on the movie. Um, which is cool. Like, I expected, like, in between the movie or, like, around here is where we would get stuff on the comics and maybe Hyperforce and stuff like that. Some cool concept art and stuff. Better look at the, um, the power coins. Concepts of the Megazord. Megazord. Command Center. I am the smartest fan alive. Stuff about the Zords. I still need to rewatch this movie. Some really cool shots there of him with the sword and then some more concept shots. Oh, not concept shots, but like actual shots. I don't remember that from the movie. Again, I need to rewatch it, but I just like don't remember it. Oh, and then here's an advertisement for The Shape of Water. That's my favorite part of the book, if I'm being honest. Like, all this stuff's kind of extra, like whatever, Power Rangers, but it's all about those Shape of Water inserts. Um, and then we have this last page here about Beast Morphers, you know, looking forward to the future. Of course they say, of course, of course they said go going forward. 
But look at those smexy suits, guys. Um, but yeah, this is super, super cool. Um, I really like it a lot. Again, as I said, it's something I've always kind of dreamed about because I've always kind of collected the... Oh, here we go. Let's put the highlight in there. Boom. Um, I've always kind of collected those types of nerd books and read them, like the Spider-Man and Star Wars and X-Men, Superman type of books, and I always wanted one for PR. And because it was always kind of looked down on as a franchise, I never thought we would get one. So this is kind of like a dream come true, but it's super detailed, lots of really cool info in it. Um, I've only gotten uh, kind of skipped around and read various passages to kind of get an idea, but also just lots of really cool pictures too. Like, I like to look at the pictures of the suits and stuff and the concept work. So if you are on the fence about this and you like things like this, this, I can definitely recommend picking it up or putting it on your Christmas list or, or whatever. I think it's definitely worth it for Ranger fans. Again, I will come back um, hopefully in about two weeks max and I'm going to do like a more in-depth review after I got a chance to read it. I just don't want to rush reading it. Like I thought about waiting until I read it, but I wanted to get like an opinion out there for you guys, but I also don't want to just brush read this and not enjoy it. Like I'm looking forward to cracking this open. And so yeah, I'll, I'll link the two reviews together when the time comes for that. But until then, this is a definite recommend just based on me reading uh, some select passages and looking through it and stuff. Just be careful with the poster and remember the highlight of the book is the Shape of Water insert. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to climb the steps entering that bell to get the notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.